Don't. <laughs> no. Harry. I got him, Harry. I got him. With the start of this year's Kyoto Summit just three hours away, the delegates from the participating countries are beginning to arrive at the conference center. A major poll of domestic and international opinion carried out just last week shows that the vast majority of respondents favor a complete quarantine of Neo Kobe as a means to combat the risk of the snatcher menace. Uh. Now that the Chief's death has been confirmed, it won't be long before they strip us of our Junker authorization. They will be deciding how to handle Neo Kobe at the summit in just three hours. There are rumors that they're going to use nukes on the city to make sure the Snatchers are wiped out. That's what? ridiculous. Come on, this is the 21st century. That may not be Raccoon as impossible city. as it seems. The world's leaders are extremely concerned about the Snatcher problem. Like Jurassic Park. The Chief was going to calm this hysteria Ooh. in his speech at the summit, but that'll never happen now. Three months ago, government pressure on Junker operations increased dramatically. Gillian's transfer here was really our last chance. Our own chief was snatched. It's not too surprising they don't want to trust us anymore. I've heard that the Army and FBI are going to take over operations now. That's correct. That too will be officially decided in three hours' time. Three hours, eh? Is there any way we can find their hideout in that time? <coughs> if we don't, we and everybody else in this city are finished. As far as they're concerned, we're just like a cancerous tumor that has to be cut out. We have to hit the Snatcher's headquarters before then. Gillian, can you do it? If we only knew where it was, I should be able to manage something. Hitting their outposts like Queen's Hospital won't do any good. We have to find their main nerve center. What about the memory of that Snatcher who was impersonating the Chief? Just like the others, it was completely blanked. It's a form of self-destruct mechanism that they use. Wait a minute. Mental, what about tracing that video phone call from Jamie? It was no good. The call didn't last long enough. Still, it definitely did come from within the city. Damn. Where are they hiding? Gillian, Where can't else you remember would it anything like at all? Snow. Didn't Jamie say something that implied you were somehow connected to the Snatchers? Nothing. I can't remember a damn thing. Metal, I want you to tell me everything you know about me. Why was I sent to we'll Junker headquarters? Jordan. Where did I come from? Now that we have uh, Jamie's normal Gillian. voice, or normal name. Metal, the Chief's dead. Tell me everything you know about me. Well, uh, you see... Metal! All right. With the Chief gone, you are the highest ranking officer here. You knew all along? Of course. Where were we rescued from? Three years ago. You and Jamie were taken into protective custody in the Siberian Neutral Zone by the 17th Siberian Investigative Force. More precisely, you were discovered in cryogenic sleep pods in an underground bunker near Moscow. Cryogenic sleep pods? You mean they were frozen? This is a photograph of the bunker. There is no record of when you were placed there. In addition, Wait, the there's third another pod one. was empty <coughs> at the time you mm. were discovered. There were three pods? You were revived <gasps> and taken into custody by the army. Apparently, as a result Harry. of extended sleep, both of you suffered from complete amnesia. However, another theory suggests your memories Didn't they find him in the Siberian? This is the Did only Siberian? piece of evidence found at the site. So. Oh, there. That's Harry's picture <sighs> from when he was a See? kid. That's correct. <gasps> Is Gillian and Jamie's son. It's been confirmed by DNA tests. No! Harry, <coughs> Harry was my son? <laughs> no! Using the information gained from the photo, it was established that you are Gillian Seed and your wife, Jamie Lorraine. Both of you are American citizens, born in the late 1960s. The 1960s? In addition, both of you vanished without a trace in 1989. There is no other information available about you after that. 1989? Yes. You come from a world that's been gone for 50 years. But what does that have to do with the Snatchers? 
When the 17th Special Investigative Force was bringing the two of you out, there was an accident. Though the two of you were all right, most of the 17th was killed. One of them was a snatcher. Of course, before their departure, they all underwent thorough examinations. So, if one of them was snatched, it had to be somewhere in Siberia, right? That's correct. And in order to attempt to determine the origin of the Snatcher, as well as your true identities, you were assigned to Junker Headquarters. The hope was that exposure to the Snatchers would help you regain your memories. Moscow? Fifty years ago? Almost everyone who was in Moscow at the time was killed in the catastrophe. So Gillian and Jamie are the only living witnesses? Harry... Harry was my son. Did he know? That's no. fucked up. It was highly classified information. He was never told. I... I was never able to do anything for him. Wait a minute, Gillian. Didn't Jamie say something about taking a boy hostage? That's right. They must know about Harry and are using him to threaten her. We have to find their headquarters quickly. We've only got three hours. Gillian, let's think this all through again. We may get some kind of a hint out of it. You're right. There may be some clue in the way they're operating. All right. Let's go over what we know about them. All right, Katie, you ready for a quiz? Yeah. What's our weak point? Cold. I mean, I don't know the sun. <laughs> you want to guess again? Oh, ultraviolet. Yep. I mean, technically the sun makes ultraviolet rays, but okay. Yeah, be specific. I guess. <laughs> now, what method were they using to move and be able to avoid the ultraviolet ultraviolet rays? Suntan lotion. Oh, the underpass or the underground? Yeah. The underground the lube <laughs> tiner. You know, the Underground Railroad. Oh, or Snatchers. Geez. No, this isn't <laughs> no, David right? Cage. That's why I accidentally... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, what phenomena was uh, always observed at any location where Snatchers appeared, including the Underground Snow Tunnels? Snow nine. Sneeze. What was Snow causing nine. the sneezing? Huh? Snow nine. Ding ding ding. Mm-hmm. It's a little review. Mm-hmm. You made it this far, let's make sure you're paying attention. Yep. Otherwise you'll never get the ending to the game. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm hmm Yeah, there's Russian Red paraphernalia square. everywhere. Yep. What do they have in common, Katie? Moscow. New York. <laughs> hey. Do -do -do -do. But why? Why did Russia make snatchers? Well, you see, after the Trump regime. Oh, God. <laughs> Mm -hmm. In other
other words, this homing instinct thing of theirs has led them to set up their headquarters in some place that reminds them of home, or their creator. What part of this city is like Moscow? Moscow's really cold, right? They get a lot of snow, don't they? Snow? Outer heaven. No snow has been recorded no. in Neo Kobe in several years. Well, then that's not it. Wait. What about that pollen? That crystal bioengineered stuff, Snow 9? Now that you mention it, wasn't it snowing on Jamie's video phone call? Mm -hmm. That's right. Their hideout has to be somewhere close to the Ina River. The Ina River flows for miles around here, Gillian. We could never search it all in time. Gillian, let's look at a map of the areas Wait. investigated so far. This is an enlarged view of the southwest portion of the city around the Ina River. This blue area is that in which Snow 9 is present. Now I'll superimpose a chart of the abandoned tube liner tunnels. From this we can establish those areas with Snow 9, which are accessible by subway tunnel. Mm. Now Damn. overlay nice try, Moscow. but it's still too large. We could never cover it in three hours. Don't give up so fast, Gillian. What about that image of home thing we were talking about? Maybe mm -hmm. there's some kind of geographic similarity. Maybe mm -hmm. the same view can be seen or something. I'll display a map of Moscow alongside. Yeah. Hmm. Do -do -do -do. What's this? No. Look, the rivers are exactly the same shape. Mm -hmm. This is the Moscow River over here. It looks like we're on the right track, Metal. Show us the location that Jamie and I were picked up from. All right, right here. Metal, before the catastrophe, what was at this location? The headquarters for the entire Soviet Union, the Kremlin. <gasps> the Kremlin? That snatcher said something about taking Jamie to their Kremlin. Metal, what spot in Neo Kobe would match up with the location of Moscow's Kremlin? Your ass. Just kidding. This is the spot. It's presently occupied by an old church. It's rather large, uh. but reports indicate it's been abandoned for nearly 20 years. And it's mm -hmm. right in the middle of the Snow 9 and Subway area. That's it! That's their headquarters! Their new mm -hmm. Kremlin! Gillian, let's go! Wait, Gillian. I want to go with you. Sorry, Mika. Hey, I'm a junker too, you know. I know, and you're a great one I at know that. how to shoot. So take me with you then. You head to the summit to warn the delegates. They haven't given up, you know. The summit's in Kyoto. I'm not going to be the only one to run. You've got to convince them not to use nukes on Neo Kobe. We found their hideout. There's no need now to sink the whole island. Yes, but... It's a tough job. Can you do it? Okay, Gillian. I'll do what I can. Thanks. Thank you, Mika. Don't say it, okay? Let's go, Gillian. Say what? Gillian? Yes? Um... Uh... What's wrong? Thank you for sometime? being a friend. Dinner? Yeah, you know, dinner. Hmm. But I have Mika. a wife. Not interested. I thought it would be nice, you know, to kick back, relax. It's Christmas after all. Christmas, huh? I'll be back by then. Gillian, we have to hurry. That's a promise. It's not your wife! I heard you. Yeah. Okay. But I gotta go to church first. I'll see you soon. <laughs> okay, Metal. Let's go. It's a good line read. <coughs> that is good. Well, I gotta, I go, gotta to go to church. church. <laughs> uh. All right. Investigate uh, the second. All right. Is it still the taxi? Oh, maybe. No, it's not. Taxi was driving on the right side. Oh, Let's go that's to church. True. I've input the map data on the Kremlin's locations. Lift off. Take me to church. <laughs> <laughs> Flight configuration, now gaining altitude. altitude. Jamie, please be safe. Gillian, I gotta tell her about my date. Mind that we're working with I know, right? Dynamic. What the fuck? <laughs> a 50 year debt in three hours. I had a son. <laughs> Snow! 
Snow 9 to be specific. We've entered the Snow 9 region. Please put on your breathing filter. Direct inhalation is dangerous. All right. Radio transmissions will also be impossible from this point on. Understood? You understand. I guess. Descending. Conversion to hover configuration complete. Gillian, we've arrived. Now yeah, let's head back to Junker. I know, right? <laughs> I got second guess. I got cold feet. <laughs> With all the snow nine here. Hmm. This isn't suspicious at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Well, I should have a mask on. Even in theory, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. Uh, I applaud the courage of Mika. It, it was good of her to build up the courage to, uh, Ask Gillian on a date. Yeah. I'm just not sure of the timing. <laughs> timing and, you know. Considering his wife. He just, yeah, just, he uh, just spoke to his wife and, like, the, front. She, they had a kid. Mm-hmm. Then again, I mean, it, they could easily just be like, yeah, it's still not going to work. Well, maybe it's just, like, a friendly date, you know? Yeah, who knows? It's like, hey, I'll bring my wife with. All right. Now opening the door. What's wrong? Won't open? I've scanned it, and it's not locked. It is probably rusted into place. Not surprising. After all, our friends always go in and out through the basement. Let's push <clears> it <throat> together. All right. One. Two. Three! That got it. Walk in the rain. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's you. A big, it's a big picture of like Putin, <laughs> the creator. <laughs> the hell is that? Random. <gasps> no. Is it? I don't know. No, no, no. I no. guess. That's Modnar, Katie. I'm sorry. Hmm. I still like Hajile. Yeah. Uh, chairs, area. Cool music. Mm-hmm. It's spacey enough and it's got this 8-bit drops in the mm -hmm. middle of it. It's got that sound effect that's in all the game trailers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, stupid. I thought I meant when continue back. I thought I meant like no, nope, we're done. We're, we're done. Back. Guess Jamie's not here. We were wrong. <coughs> ah. <gasps> S -s Snatchers. <laughs> oh. Snatcher. Oh my God! It's <laughs> like. Hmm. Like I'm blanking on the name. Uh, Scooby Doo. There we go. <laughs> What do you mean, Scooby Doo? They start pulling off their masks and oh, everything, yeah. and Everyone's the snatchers, snatchers, and yeah. But then they pull but off the snatchers' really masks. Snatchers? Random. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Random. How could you? 
maybe he realized that it was a mistake. Boom. <laughs> yeah, when something like jumps off a cliff or something, and it shows how <laughs> big the area is below them, it Yeah. Russia brought upon us. Mm. Continue back. Mm -hmm. Did you listen? Uh, no. Oh, no. It was just a uh, game trailer sounds. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's Tubby. And Booby. Yeah, and that one's got boobs. And that one's got no skin. No. no. <laughs> <It's> skinny. <laughs> All right. This is where they oh. fuse the artificial skin onto the Snatcher's endostructure. First, they adjust the size of the still skinless Snatcher to the size of the individual who is to be snatched. The Snatcher's overall shape and size can be adjusted by expansion or contraction of sizing rods. Their sex is controlled by gender units, which are installed at this point. Then, the face is modified to match the intended victim by adjusting the size of the upper and lower jaw, cheekbones, temporal bones, and tooth alignment. Just like Gibson said, that means there are limits to the size of the people that they can snatch. Shaq is safe! The limits of the mechanism mean that they can't snatch children, <laughs> the elderly, or people safe. who are very tall or heavy. And this is where the artificial muscles <laughs> attach. Ugh. Is it organic? No. It appears to be coated with a type of plastic gel capable of mechanical response. Like human muscles, it creates mechanical energy through chemical reactions. And this is where the Ooh. artificial skin is attached. In order to prevent the synthetic cells, developed using biotechnological protein design techniques, from rejecting the inorganic material below, they attach it gradually over a number of days. And this is the stuff that gets cancer if they stay out in the sun too long. Finally, they attach body and scalp hair. The process involves transplant of synthetic hair follicles as well, so the hair will grow back if it's lost. What about scars or birthmarks? It would appear that they make those adjustments at this point in the process, as they would for wrinkles to simulate age. Hmm. Interesting. I see. Thanks for the the tour. Uh, let's see. Well, listen this time, Katie. <coughs> oh, is that what those that little bubble sound is? It's supposed to be the actual bubbling? Yeah. So all we had to do was, like, equip Metal Gear with an ultraviolet light. And they'd be like... <laughs> I mean, honestly... I mean, they're literally robotic vampires. So this is where the whole thing begins. The endostructures Some... arrive here from the Kremlin. Then they convert them into copies of their victims. And finally, they head out into the city using the old subway system. With artificial skin maintenance being handled at Queen's Hospital. But who's behind all this? Gillian, look at this. There are some finished snatchers over here. Get a load of this. The U.S. President, the Prime Ministers of Japan, and the U.K. Shit. No, oh, Japan's ripped. Me! Gillian, you're in here too! Oh, that's me. Figures. <laughs> they were looking to snatch every VIP at the summit. And the last junker, you. It definitely looks like they plan on moving out beyond Neo Kobe. If they were to snatch every major world leader, 
they'd practically be able to control the planet. Still, that's odd. With their flawed skin, pulling something off like that would really be difficult. Chin said they had found the key to developing a perfect artificial skin. Maybe they've already produced it. No idea. But the number of snatchers here makes it clear that they're up to something new. Gillian, this is definitely their nest. We should destroy everything. Not yet. Not until we found Jamie. Uh, Metal, uh, how much time do we have left? The summit should have begun by now. We don't have much time. And once our legal privileges are suspended, I won't be able to help. In fact, I'll be forced to restrain you. I know, I know. If the military wants to avoid nukes and goes for a surgical strike on this facility, uh, what would they likely use? Probably a phased particle beam from one of the attack satellites. A phased particle beam, huh? <coughs> well, that'll wipe this complex right off the map. Everything, yeah. including the soil, will simply evaporate. The attack will leave just a large crater. Nothing but the scent Metal, of pine. can you convince them to give me another hour? <laughs> Even 30 minutes will help. Understood. I'll try my best. And I'll try to find and rescue Jamie in that time. I can't transmit here due to interference from the Snow Nine. I'll have to leave the area and then send the message. All right. Do it, Metal. Gillian, don't forget. 30 minutes. You must get out before then. I understand. Gillian, I'm yeah, sorry I couldn't help you better. Don't worry about it. I'll be able to move faster by myself anyway. 30 minutes should be plenty. Go, Metal! Yes, sir. Don't forget! 30 minutes! Gillian, I love you. Ooh. Gillian, let's go on a date. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be tight. That room's the only place left to check. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh, these are new. Yeah, they are. <coughs> what the fuck are these? Spider bug. <coughs> Insectoid. I guess. This is like phase two of those other ones. Huh? Are they different? Are these like phase two of those other ones or something? Let's say yes. Okay. Hey. Yeah, this is going better than that last one. Oh yeah. I say it now, but yeah. I mean You hear the little voice in the back of your head. Gillian, 13 minutes! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I right. you got your point. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Whew. I wasn't ready for that. Yes, you were. I was. They almost got me! Alright, uh, let's open the next door. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything here. Whoa! <gasps> hey, who are you? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, shit. Okay, there we go. He's trying to hug you! I shot his dick. Oh no! I got him too. What happens if I hit uh, continue?
Where does that throw me? It oh, should just boy. Pick up. Oh. Oh, no. That's not that. No, it's it. do the whole spider fight again. <gasps> oh, shit. Yeah, no. So, no. Never mind. That's okay. They almost got me. All right. Uh, let's open the next door. I don't <coughs> remember which button to hold down. Doesn't oh. look like there's anything here. It doesn't look like there's anything here, and there's like 40 of them come out. Go in here, not that. Sometimes they like get a shot off like immediately, and there's nothing I can do. Yeah. guys are tough. Of course, I didn't exactly expect them to welcome me with open arms. Okay, uh, let's try this next door. <coughs> oh, no! Jamie, are you all right? Gillian, you came for me. Are you hurt? No, they won't lay a finger on me. Not until the new artificial skin is completed anyway. Artificial skin research? You? Gillian, I've got my memory back. All of it. What happened? Tell me, Jamie. They said they'd kill him. They said they'd kill Harry. They forced me. I had to help them with the skin development. They said I had to help them because the professor was ill. Wasn't getting any better. Gillian, the engineer Harry, he's our son. He's been living on his own now for 50 years. Jamie, I'm afraid that Harry's... There was nothing I could do. They forced me. But I can't do it anymore. Jamie! The professor... He just died. He was over a hundred. The professor? What? This old man? <gasps> Still alive, Don't you know. Don't you remember? It's Professor <laughs> Modner. Professor Petrovich Modner. What? This old man is Modner? He's been confined here for three years now, just to develop the Snatcher's artificial skin. Terrible. Doing that to your own father. Whose father? Jamie, I don't have any idea what you're talking about. You really can't remember, can you? Jamie, tell me. Tell me who I am. Uh, what were we doing at the Kremlin? Are you sure you really want me to, Gillian? It's all so awful, but if you must know, I'll tell you. Actually, you know what? You don't have- Try ha to remain oh. calm, okay? You're gonna go ahead. <laughs> Fifty-six years ago, you and I were involved in a top-secret Soviet project. It was still during the time of the Cold War. The gulf between East and West was as wide as ever. <gasps> Everybody was worried about nukes. <laughs> At that point, that line. the world's <laughs> armies were at their largest ever. Leaders still believed that a strong military meant a strong nation. There were rumors that there would be an agreement to end the production of nuclear weapons. On the other hand, the major powers like the U.S. began to get involved in a space weapons race. But not the Soviets. The conservative despots in the Kremlin had another, completely different idea for gaining military superiority. A horrible plan something no one else would think of. At that time, the countries of the communist bloc were facing an economic crisis. Popular movements pushing for democracy were springing up all over. Communism itself was facing extinction. Facing pressure from the reformers, the Kremlin began to panic. And that's when that horrible, childish <coughs> plan was launched. And that was the Snatcher Project. Replace your enemy's leaders with puppets of your own. 
Then you control their governments, their economies, take over a country from the inside out. Oh, shit. That's right, Gillian. And to develop these robots, they assembled some of the most brilliant scientific minds from around the world. Some of them were even brought in against their will. At the crux of that development effort was a group called the Frankenstein Project Team. You and I were hmm. members of that team, Gillian. It was a four-person team led by the late Professor Modner here. The robotics expert was Professor Modner himself. His son, Elijah Modner, handled genetics and microbiology. <gasps> For nanobiology and picobiology, myself. And for behavioral for science and psychology, <laughs> you, Gillian. Early development was carried out at a lab in Novosibirsk, but was later moved to a secret facility under the Kremlin. Selino Yarsk. At the time, yeah. the Glasnost and Perestroika movements were gaining momentum, and they rightly feared for the existence of the program if it should become known. But some of the reformers did learn of the project, and they conspired with the U.S. to block it. Gillian, you were a CIA special agent sent by the United States to infiltrate and sabotage the project. I was CIA? Yes, That's and the government cool. knows that. That's why you were assigned to the Junker team. What? Who am I? Work on the project continued to go smoothly. But then... On June 6, 1996, there was that accident. They created a box of arms. The arms explosion are. at the Chernotin facility spread a bacterial weapon that was under development there into the atmosphere, <coughs> destroying kind the of, country yeah. and the project. I guess when you pull your arm out, Gillian, it, would, it would take was it with it. You? Yeah. Did you set off that explosion? What? You can't be serious. You think I caused the catastrophe? Somehow, during the confusion, Professor Modner and our son, Harry, managed to get picked up by American agents. But we couldn't get out in time, you and I and Elijah. In a shelter below the Kremlin, we entered a cryogenic sleep. Our plan was to sleep there until the toxic effects of the bacteria were safely passed. And then, 48 years later, three years ago, we were discovered by the 17th Special Investigative Force. Yes, but when they found us, Elijah's pod was already empty. Mm. Elijah Modner? That guy whose picture was in the church? The one that looks like Oh no! <laughs> Rand! <laughs> Hajile is, is Elijah! Mm -hmm. Elijah is here and working on the Snatchers. Why don't you let me finish your little story? <sighs> but who's I there? Dead. It's been a while, hasn't it, Jamie? Ah, yes. And Gillian. <coughs> Harry. It's me, Jamie. Elijah? Is that really you? Your husband. Random? No. Not quite. So you remember me, do you? I am Elijah Modnar, the only son of Professor Petrovich Modnar. I'm afraid I've grown somewhat old and feeble since we last met, however. Elijah, why are you doing this? Your father, Professor Modner, he just... He passed away a few minutes ago. What? My father? My father is dead? Elijah, what... What happened to you? The Elijah I knew could never do anything like this. I've changed, Jamie. These 40 years have changed me. I can't believe it. What happened to you? What <coughs> happened to me? Jamie, do I actually have to explain it to you? Yes. Jamie, it's you. Your beauty is the cause of all that has come to pass here. No. 57 years ago. <laughs> no. I was obsessed with my research, yes. And Don't you, blame Jamie. her. At the time, for your I was failing. Your fault. Having just graduated with my genetic engineering degree. You were just so hot. My father's connections oh, got God. me on the team, and there, I met you. You were working so much as my father's show assistant. You were beauty. Your love. smile. I was stricken. I saw something in you that I never felt with women of my own country. You warmed my cold, young heart, Jamie. You opened me up. And I couldn't stop my feelings. Elijah! Oh, God. 
Oh, I was so happy. The political situation was crumbling around us, but every day was a joy. I gained my father's trust, and with you there watching over me, I was able to work as hard <coughs> as I ever have on the project. However, my happiness did not last for long. Because then Killian, Killian came. It was you. You showed up and all was ruined. You arrived and joined our project team. Far from home, Jamie found comfort in a man from the same land. You Your were the relationship grew quickly. And it's all, all right. I could do was stand by and watch. Jamie and Gillian fell in love, were joined, and even <laughs> had a child. He's <laughs> just Jamie. looking angrily so at the mad. camera. Even Sephiroth. then, my feelings for you only Basically. grew stronger. Worried about me, my father. The boy there's like, hey, what's wrong, Mr. Project, but what's I going on? Jamie, I always wanted to be near <laughs> you. <coughs> and then the democratic movements that had consumed Bernie the rest Sanders. of the Eastern Bloc oh, spread God. to our country as well. The Cold War was over. The hardliners who had pushed for its development were stripped of power and the project was cancelled. The reformers, trying to cover up the existence of such a crazed project, ordered that all materials related to it be destroyed, and that we stand trial for our actions. Jamie and Gillian were to be returned to their homeland. That's I about the time that, that I learned that you, Gillian, that you were a CIA agent, and that you were trying to pass documents on our research to your military. The country had sold us out. I'm no politician. I couldn't care less about what happened to the country. All I cared about was my research and Jamie. And I was to lose all of that, everything. For someone so young, you cannot understand how great of a shock that was. Elijah. That is when I decided I swore I would see that secret craze project through to the end. At the time, the Bioroids were 80% finished. The main part, their endostructure, was essentially completed. But we still were having trouble with the artificial skin, the area that Jamie and I were assigned to. We called it artificial skin, but there was of course no need to duplicate T lymphocytes, Langerhans cells, or endocrine cells. All we needed was keratinized cells and melanocytes to provide the pigment. With the artificial protein development techniques that we had in those days, full-scale synthetic cell development was very difficult. Research like this took months, years. Days even. The original project called for us to simultaneously <laughs> snatch an entire country. Minutes. In other words, a whole nation. Or an oh, it's a wheelchair. I didn't the even notice that. One night. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't understand the, a powerful the biological two agent, feet. which could quickly and effectively kill the population of oh. the country, was being simultaneously developed. Yeah, they showed it. All right. Lucifer Alpha. That's right. A type RAO11 virus which another team was developing. For someone like myself, who was closely involved in the project, blowing up the lab was quite a simple task. My God, Elijah, do you know what you're saying? That explosion killed half the world's population. I moved all the materials and records essential to the Bioroid project into the shelter and executed my plan on June 6th. After sealing off the lab, I brought the two of you with me to the underground shelter and we entered a cryogenic sleep. But not before I programmed an atmospheric research satellite to transmit a wake signal when the danger from Lucifer Alpha had passed. And ten years later, Lucifer Alpha naturally mutated into a non-toxic form. But the automatic revival system failed to work. Oh no, no no, it, it worked. worked for me. Just as planned. It revived me <laughs> ten years <laughs> later. A little sooner than the two of you. <laughs> But even though you sealed the lab with the explosion and everything, you should have been exposed. Why weren't you? Oh, I was. But by that time, the vaccine L Angels oh, had already God. been developed. So everything went just as you planned it then.
Yes, up until that point. But my real struggle was yet to come. My original plan was to revive Jamie as well, and for the two of us to finish the development of the Bioroids. You, Together. Gale, you were to stay asleep forever. But I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Not after looking at Jamie's peaceful face there in the pod. Besides, I could never have convinced her to work with me on the project anyway. I knew the time was not yet right, so I changed the timers of your pods to permanent on. How? How could you do such a thing? And so for the next 40 years, I worked I alone in a cold <laughs> and lonely room under the Kremlin, <laughs> trying to complete the artificial skin for the Snatchers. For days and days, no one would visit me. I never saw the sun or felt the changing of the seasons. Still, I always had Jamie by my side. Why didn't he kill Gillian? You were always there for me to talk to. I don't Just know. Just you and I for 40 years. So maybe Jamie doesn't hate him? Cellar. Hmm. Oh, you poor, poor man. And then... So what do you say, ago, Jamie? My research was finally <laughs> completed. First, I snatched the Siberian Special Investigative Forces to establish a transport route for the Snatchers. And then, to test the effect of large-scale Snatch operations, I chose Neokobe City to be my experimental sample. Neokobe is cut off from the surrounding areas, a sort of miniature country in itself, making it a perfect test site. And since it's a melting pot of various races, it would also allow me to gather extensive data on snatcher modification and operational techniques. In addition, the element of suspicion or mistrust, which runs deep in Japanese culture, was another reason I chose this site. But your test okay. revealed a critical flaw in your machine's artificial skin. Yes, quite unexpected, I'm afraid. <laughs> All my research for 40 years. I gathered data and worked day and night to find a solution, but nothing seemed to work. So that's why you decided to bring Professor Modner here, right? That's correct. I discovered my father in one of the government's hospitals. He was old, but still very sound of mind. Naturally, he would not cooperate with me. Of course not. He'd never become involved in something like that. So, unable to receive his assistance, I decided that I had to have yours. But a mistake on my part allowed both you and Gillian to be taken into custody by the authorities first. Just what are you trying to accomplish, Elijah? You must know you can never get Jamie back. I'm only interested in discovering what I can of the human animal. In the past, it was because of Jamie. My motive is different now. It sounds like you're just suffering from the wild arrogance that corrupts so many scientists. Humans are such weak creatures. No matter how much they trust one another, the tiniest speck of suspicion <laughs> can destroy it all. Look at how the Snatcher problem has caused such wild unrest. No matter how much science advances or how high we set our ideals, we eventually begin to suspect each other, to hate each other, and then to kill each other. The Snatchers are nothing more than a tool for bringing out this reaction. I am simply using the Snatchers to elicit the true nature of the human animal. I think this experiment okay. has shown me the limits of human society. I sincerely doubt it will be able to reach any greater level of prosperity on its own. If human society ever hopes to reach greater heights, what is needed is an absolute leader. A firm ruler who isn't affected oh, by these no. trivial episodes of mistrust. You're crazy if you think people would ever obey Snatchers. Of course they wouldn't. But if they don't know, they cannot object. There has been a time in every age that the people have longed for a god to lead them. Lizard people. As long as they give the people no reason to suspect them, then they can easily become their gods. Indeed, a new race of super beings. We are almost there. Once we perfect the artificial skin, Snatchers will transcend man to become this planet's true human Some beings. Some sort of uber men. You never get your perfect skin now. <laughs> Professor Modner is dead. I no longer have any use for my father. 
I have a sample of the new skin he developed. <coughs> Once I've analyzed it, I'll be able to make as much as I need. Or if need be, we could simply culture the keratinized cells, epithelial cells, and melanocytes in the quantities that we need. What are you talking about? How could you get a sample of perfected artificial skin? Why don't you take a look at this? Get a load of this. We found this in the rubble of <gasps> Queen's Hospital. No! Oh shit. Random! Oh, an acquaintance of yours? He's... He's a snatcher? That term isn't exactly accurate. This bioroid was constructed by my father without my knowledge. We call him a snooker. He modeled it snooker. after me in my youth. <laughs> he built it right here in this facility. And not only that, he programmed it to destroy snatchers. This bioroid caused me serious difficulties. It's designed and built far better than my snatchers. The machine itself thought it was human. My father input memories for it all the way back to childhood. <coughs> Those two were apparently mine. Anyway. Haven't you yet realized? Random Hajil is Elijah Modner spelled backwards. What? How really? like my father, silly old man. He did virtually overnight what I could not do in 40 years of effort. Furthermore, he makes a Bioroid so perfect, even the Bioroid itself believes itself to be real. What's more, the cells of the skin he developed are self-replicating. Once in place, no further transplants or culturing is necessary. Is he dead? Its main and locomotive systems are completely shut down. It's just scrap now. But the artificial mm. skin is being kept alive. This we need. With this, we can move to phase two of our plan, a full-scale infiltration of the world's <laughs> major nations. The summit's already over. You'll never succeed. What does the summit matter? Nothing holds us back now that we have this perfect skin. We can go anywhere we want, and there will be no way to tell us apart. I will have free control over the world. Nothing will Wait, be able to stop me. We. Are Politics you a snitcher now? Politics and thought will no longer have any meaning. My I mean, that makes sense with his teeth. Jamie will be his queen. History. No! You egomaniac. Do you think you can snatch the entire population? There's a fully yep. automated snatcher factory under the Kremlin. Even as we speak, scores of new snatchers are being born. But no matter how hard you try, you won't be able to snatch the people's heart and soul. What do you hope to gain from this anyway? Jamie, the human race is composed of fools. But I, I am different. I will be its savior. Indeed, not just of mankind, but of all life on the planet. That's all your I'm afraid fault. that won't be possible. Metal! In ten minutes, no! this church will be struck by a phased particle beam. I am guiding the beam from the attack satellite using GPS and satellites the beam cannot miss everything in a two to three kilometer radius from me will be destroyed stop this foolishness now i will not have my research destroyed by some souped up pocket calculator metal <laughs> what happened at the summit the delegates worried about the snatcher menace voted unanimously to allow the use of nuclear weapons on the city the military is presently imposing a quarantine on neo kobe what do they intend to kill everybody? The populace is in a state of panic. However, they have agreed to lift the quarantine if this church is struck by the phase particle beam. This is our last chance. I will handle things here. Gillian, Jamie, you two must flee. You insignificant mass of metal. You will never... One move and I detonate. Gillian, run! Metal, this is crazy! We can't let a single snatcher get out of here. And this new artificial skin has to be destroyed as well. I will not allow some talking scrap pile to get away with this. If you are the aiming point for the beam, then I'll just have you thrown out of here. Grab this little one and take him out of here. Yeah. 
you TI-84 no. graphing calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how... <gasps> Metal! Cowardly little robot. You always were a real pain in the butt. <laughs> oh, look at that happening off What's screen. What's that? <laughs> yeah, what is that? <gasps> what? How did... You're Random. supposed to be deactivated. I don't go down that easy, old man. Stop <gasps> this foolish... <sighs> Shut up! Let's try to make our final moments peaceful, shall we? And you snatchers, you touch the little guy and the old man's head comes off. Random! I've always hated being used. Why don't you watch the final act with me? Gillian, you only have five minutes. The turbo cycle is just outside on standby. Use that to flee. Let me go. I'm Elijah Modner. I'm your original. I don't no. care if I'm an original or a no. copy or what. You and I are gonna die right here. If we both die, there won't be a copy anymore now, will there? The stupid logic of a simpleton. Of a machine. Whatever it is, it's my will. Machines have no will. Machines cannot sacrifice themselves. We'll see about that. You have four minutes. You must go. And don't forget to take care of the factory under the Kremlin. Stop! Gillian, even if these memories in my head are fiction... <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Our memories of our time together are all too real, Random. Gillian... You become one hell of a junker. Gillian, it is I'll marry you. <laughs> or no, oh, Gillian, can we go on a date? Little John? Oh, okay, Metal. Hurry. Oh, oh yeah, shit, Little John. Thanks. Thanks, you two. Jamie, come on. old fool. You don't even know how to love someone. You stupid machine. What is that idiotic grin supposed to mean? What grin? By snatching oh, you, there goes. <laughs> I'm finally gonna get my real self back. Random, there's less than one minute to go. Thanks to you, everything will be fine. You don't owe me any thanks. Sorry to get you involved in such a big job. You did great. You're a hell of a junker. Three, what? two, one! You just said that to... <laughs> Later, kid! Pew. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Is that hell or how? Probably. What? <laughs> probably a hell. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, it's probably hell. Three weeks later. So you're really going, aren't you? It's our responsibility, too. Besides, if I go to Moscow, I may get some of my memory back. And if that happens, I'll be able to love you even more than I do now. Wait for me. I want to be with you, but first I've got to destroy this terrible First I got a date there's. with a secretary. Got a date? You <laughs> Jamie, also got a girl in your back. apartment? And... Let's try living together again. What do you say? Yeah, I forgot about her. We'll be waiting for you, too. Katrina! What? Mika! You're here, too? <gasps> you better be happy, Buster, with all these beautiful women seeing you off. I'm happy you came. Uh, uh, let me introduce you. This is my, my wife. wife! Jamie Seed. 
I suppose it's a little odd introducing myself a second time, though. What do you mean? Uh, you've never met them before, have you? What are you talking about, Gillian? We're good friends. Huh? Uh, since when? It's the first Forever. time I've met her in person, but I've spoken with her on the video phone a lot of times. What? Have you guys been oh. talking about me behind my back? <laughs> uh oh. Yes. Random comes up in the middle. <laughs> Here, let me help you. <laughs> oh shoot, my <laughs> controller. Uh... Okay. <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. I'm laughing and dying. <coughs> kind of surprised this isn't voiced, but that's okay. Yeah. That sounds pretty good to me. I'm um, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you're telling me. Yeah. Don't be stupid, Gillian. I wonder if Mika. This, so that might explain how Katrina found a way into our place. Oh, that makes sense. Just ask you, so. Wow, it's not like I was just flirting with her about so less than a day ago. So they what they're going to do about junker operations. I suppose <coughs> this will end up being our last mission, huh? Well, originally they were planning on disbanding the team, but now they've decided to keep us in business. So that means. That's right. We've been designated as one of the government's special police divisions. That puts us above the regular cops. So the government has decided that crime by machines poses a bigger threat than crime by humans from here on out, huh? They've chosen the new chief, too. So when you get back, you'll get to meet the new head honcho. Well, it's comforting to know I've got a place I can come back to. You mean I'm not the chief? Yeah, for real. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, good. Good for you, Mika. Yeah. Whatever you do, just come home safe, okay? When you get back from this job, you still have a dinner okay. date to keep with me, you know. Don't worry. I won't forget my promises to either of you. Oops, oh, almost forgot. Of course, I'll want to spend some private moments with my wife, too, huh? Uh, uh, what's wrong, Jamie? Harry Aww. and I will be waiting for you to get home. That's Harry's hat. We can do it this time, Gillian. Not some fake couple like before, but with love and trust. I know, Jamie. Take care, Gillian. <laughs> I'll see you, Jamie. Wait! Wait for me! Take me with you, please! You? Uh, little Sega. Metal? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have a good frame to work with, so this is just a temporary body. Just call me Metal Gear, Sega CD for now. So they found your memory chip in one piece, eh? Random protected it from the blast of the beam. Random, huh? Random. Right. Wait a second. I've heard that sneeze somewhere before. Really? I didn't hear anything. Anyway, I want to know if you'll take me with you. <clears throat> please, Gillian, please take me with you. Hurry up and get on board, partner. Yes, sir, Gillian. Ah, shit, it's leaving without me. Or 
ladies were caught in the blast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was... <laughs> and some sneezing dude. Does that mean... <laughs> yeah, who sneezed? It was like, it was Harry's sneeze. Was it? Yeah. You know, Harry's famous sneeze. <laughs> no, I don't remember Harry's famous sneeze. <laughs> Throughout history, suspicion has always bred conflict. Yeah. The real conflict, though, resides in people's hearts. Oh. This conflict okay. has just begun. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I like that game. Yeah, it was fun. Um, I have problems with the... Uh, uh, you know... Searching and everything? Yeah. Investigating? Um, and the shooting. But that was also partially because of the I forgot Jeremy Blasting did this one. Huh? I forgot Jeremy Blasting did this one. Translated. Um... And especially for the time, there just wasn't, you know, this, I feel like this sort of, uh, presentation... Uh, really kind of help, you know, I, I don't want to say cinematic, but I guess you could say cinematic. Yeah. <coughs> so at some point, I guess, then we gotta round it all up and play through police nuts. Yeah. That probably won't happen for a bit, though. Yeah. I have to look at uh, what we did have on our list of to-dos. I know we have uh, Sherlock stuff. Um, uh, we also did start, like, a while ago, Metal Gear Solid 2. I guess we can jump back in. Oh, yeah, we can something. finish that, too. Um, and then there's Bloodborne. I also apparently wrote Tales of the Borderlands at some point, too. I've never played those. I feel like we should do that. Which I one? like that game. Tales, Tales of the Borderlands. Tales funny. from the Borderlands? Yeah. Because I think I got them for free? I think so, too. On PlayStation? I think did. Yeah. Now I got trophies, and it's uh, easy platinum because. Random's I... wearing the same coat as fucking. Solidus? Yeah, no, just um, liquid. Oh yeah, he is. Jeff Lupitan. Actually, I'm more curious about Lucy Childs. It was some '90s Japanese music. Oh yeah. Um, let's see. Do, do. Uh, Lucy Child is an actress known for Snatcher, CD mm -hmm. Romantic. That's Snatcher CD Romantic. Oh. Um, Snatcher. Mm-hmm. 1988. Oh yeah, I guess yeah. Yeah, this came out that long. Yeah. This was the... The Sega CD one was a later release then, huh? I think so. Um... Harry. Sweet Harry. Mm. <laughs> Sweet, innocent Harry. <laughs> um... He just wanted a family. We didn't actually Robin find guy. the... Huh? It says Ramen Guy. Yeah. Ray Van Steen, who also was Benson Cunningham, he was like a bunch of people. Harry yeah. Benson, Elijah Madnar, Shin Su Oh, the narrator, and yes, of course, mm -hmm. the ramen guy. Uh, we didn't actually find the place where they were talking about uh, Neo Kobe Pizza. No, we but, never went to the that place. Yeah, uh, which is uh, 
ramen with pizza dipped into it. Yeah. I've been wanting to try it, actually. <laughs> Just cause. Sounds nasty. <laughs> who, who the hell is that? Where? That one. That that name there. Oh, I don't know. Imanok. Yeah? What was that? Yeah, that, that was it. Snatcher! See, it's got Gillian and all his lovers behind him. Yep. Uh, yeah. Good fight, mm -hmm. and good night. Uh, thanks for... <laughs> thanks for playing along, Katie. You're welcome. We'll be back I with... Like other stuff. Yeah, me too. I actually I really liked it. I'm I'm happy I played through mm -hmm. it. Yeah. <laughs> um Yeah, we've got uh we'll be back with some more stuff soon. Yeah. Um we're just wrapping games up left and right. Yeah. Okay. This one didn't take five years. <laughs> well. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Release one video every Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we could have. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, but yes. All right. Okay. Well, bye bye. Bye. <laughs>